The Kano state government has confirmed it recorded 10 new cases of COVID-19. The state Ministry of Health on Saturday night said so far the state has 37 confirmed cases of the virus. The Kano state government therefore urged residents to reduce the chain and break the chain of COVID-19 transmission. Joining us via telephone is the Commissioner of Information in Kano State, Mohammed Garba. Thank you very much for joining us. Do we have you on the line, sir? Yeah, I'm with you. All right. Could you bring us up to speed on the situation with the uh, new cases that has been confirmed in Kanu? Well, I, I think we have new cases, about 10 now. And uh, that brings about 37 in Kanu. And uh, we, we are worried because... This is just about seven days when we have the first case. And I think government is intensifying, especially if you bear in mind that Kano is a cosmopolitan state. And then our also population. So the issue of uh, distancing is very key to this. Because once you have a community inspection, then, then there will be a lot of problems. So I think uh, the governor has already declared it at home. And uh, the mosque prayers were not conducted last uh, Friday. Churches were also closed for today, Sunday. And, and I think we are intensifying in areas of sensitization and mobilization of the people to ensure that uh, the issue of washing hands with water and soap, the use of sanitizer, and the distancing has been observed by the people of the state. All right, quickly, let me ask you about the new cases still. Um, what is the situation? Is there any critical um, case among these new victims? Um, would you be able to tell us what the age bracket is and if there are any particular concern this time? Well, I don't have data in terms of age. But I'm very much aware, I spoke with the Commissioner of Health about two hours ago, there is no critical case for now. All Most right. of those who are infected actually, they are in stable condition and, and, and the health personnel are really attending to them. Okay, uh, away from that, let's still look at efforts by the government to ensure there is um, people comply with the stay-at-home order. What's the situation with palliatives, especially for the vulnerable um, in this state? You know there's been controversy over the uh, distribution of palliatives across the states of the Federation. What is your government doing to ensure that this doesn't become um, apparent or occur in Kano State? Well, I think our own palliative will start distribution either on Wednesday or Thursday this week. We observed what happened in some states that have started distributing their palliatives. And we have learned from their experiences, from the challenge which they encounter. So I want to assure you that our committee, under the chairmanship of the Vice Chancellor of Bayero University, Professor Ibuzabendo is working hard to ensure that uh, the poorest of the poor home household was able, is able to uh, benefit from this violating. Okay. So we don't anticipate much problems because we are distributing this, much, this food item at the level of 484 wards in Kano State. And we are involving traditional rulers, village heads, Hizba, security agencies, among others. So most of those who, are, who were identified actually were the downtrodden, those who are really in need. And, and I think with the involvement of uh, traditional rulers, I think our case is going to be different. All right. What are you? Um, what is there any plan, rather, 
to ensure that there is accountability and even distribution and that there, no person is going to hoard these items for themselves? Yes, that's why I said we have learned from the experiences of other states. When the committee we put in place, we ensure that these are people that are highly credible, they are independent, they are not politicians, they are businessmen, they are malams, they are, we have the president of the Khan is a member of the committee, imams are members of the committee, members of Neymar are involved, Sarah are involved, the Red Cross is involved. So these are independent people actually who have experience in terms of engaging in this type of exercise. And uh, we tried as much as possible to ensure that uh, the activities of the committee is uh, very, very transparent. Whatever is received is well publicized, either in kind or in cash. And, and I think, as I said, going by the cream of those who are selected to do this job, I think there is careful hope that uh, is going to be very successful and uh, very prudent.